Valverde High School and Valverde Academy. I'm Jill and welcome to the Nightline News Show for this week. What's up everyone, I'm Jaden and this news show is for the week of October 24th through October 28th, 2022. Yo Gio, do you know how Halloween started in the United States? Yeah, I was actually curious about it the other day. It turns out that the custom of Halloween that we have came to America in the 1840s when Irish people started immigrating over here. During that time, their favorite pranks in New England were tipping over outhouses and unhinging fence gates. Kind of gross, huh? Gross. I mean, it kind of sounds kind of fun, to be honest with you. What in the bazongas, bro? There is no way. Remind me never to get in a party party near you, bro. What? Man, anyways, now let's go to Missy Rebe, who has some important information for us. Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another week. Um, if you guys don't already know me, I'm Mrs. Ulibez. I'm your ASD director and your PBIS coordinator. Um, I'm sure you guys know who I am already. I just have a few announcements. Um, before we do this week's raffle, the first one, let me move my face, is um, we have a few clubs on campus. If you're interested in any of them, make sure you go check them out. But if you want to start your own club, you can go ahead and take a picture of this QR code um, and go ahead and fill out a new club application. All you need are just a group of friends on campus and an advisor so they can be a teacher or a staff member here. Um, and you can just fill out the application online or you can stop by the student store to get that. Um, the other thing I wanted to let you guys know is that our senior swag is on camp, it is on sale, sorry. You can get it online at, um, on our nights.myschoolcentral.com website um, or you can come visit us in the student store to figure out how to purchase it with cash, but make sure you get yours before they're gone. Um, we also have a fall festival coming up on the 4th of November. ASB is going to have some free things, some activities for everybody to participate in, and these will all be free. Um, and then we also are inviting any of our cl clubs or programs on campus. Please just send me an email if you are interested in participating or having a booth. We, um, you know, the more the merrier. Our boograms are on sale for just a little while longer. They'll basically be on sale until we sell out. So get yours before they're gone. They're $3 each and they have a full-size candy bar and some Takis in them. Um, send a little bit of love to somebody on campus. And then we do have a spare week coming up um, next week. So starting on Monday, I know some of us celebrate Halloween um, and we're gonna be using all of these things to celebrate kindness. Um, kindness week is coming up. So on Monday, wear your costumes and scare away any negativity. Just please remember, do not bring any masks or any weapons, doesn't matter if they're fake, they're not allowed on campus, and just keep it positive. On Tuesday, it's the start of um, Native American Heritage Month, so celebrated by wearing red to commemorate um, the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women organization. On Wednesday, November 2nd, we're going to do a pajama day so we can dream of kindness. On uh, Thursday the 3rd, be someone's hero and wear your favorite superhero shirt. And then finally, like I just said, on Friday, November 4th, we'll be having our fall festival and a little bit of an extended lunch. So we're going to do it Dia los Muertos theme to wear um, anything that has calaveras or a flower crown kind of theme to celebrate indigenous culture through Dia de los Muertos day. Um, and then finally, I know you guys are all waiting to see who won, who's going to win this week's um, uh, a ticket to go to the movies. We are looking at those of you guys that had no tardies or absences um, for periods two through five from um, October 11th through the 14th. So let's go ahead and see who won. All right, congratulations, Mr. Richard Lara. Make sure you stop by the ASB store at lunchtime between today or tomorrow to claim your prize. If you don't come uh, either today or tomorrow, 
then your ticket goes back into the pot for somebody else to win for next week. So um, keep showing your values, everybody. Keep being to class on time. Keep it up with your grades. Um, and then we'll see you again next week. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Miss Uribe. Mrs. Reams would like to give a special shout out to her Geometry B students from quarter one. They did a great job on their volume project. Way to go, Knights. Now here's Mr. McCarrick with some school news. What the heck? Good morning, Valverde High Knights, and welcome to another week of school. So there's a couple things going on this week. One, we're gonna start talking to students about credit recovery. Now there's two sets of groups. One is credit recovery for kids trying to go back to their home school. And two is a credit recovery for kids trying to just graduate on time here at Valverde High. So look out for, for us to call you out sometime towards the end of this week to discuss credit recovery and give you forms to start the following week. And two, just remember, we are in FAFSA season. So if you have not started FAFSA, if you haven't completed yet, please make sure you get it done because it is a graduation requirement, not just for our school, but for the state of California and also Start working on your community service. For Valverde High seniors, we need 10 hours. If you get it done early and turn it in, that's one less thing to worry about for the end of your graduation for this year. That's all I got for this week. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, Mr. McCarrick. Hey guys, here's a quick little reminder that Friday, November 11th is a holiday, so we'll be celebrating Veterans Day. And guys, don't forget, November 21st through November 25th is our Thanksgiving break. So students, get ready to relax and stuff your face. Now here is the man with the plan, Coach Martin. Guess where you are, that's right. You are right back in the weight room. And guess what? Seniors, let the tears begin to come, baby, because you got 35 days left. And for you seniors, 35 days actually means you only have 30 days of education left for those of you who are graduating early for the December grads. Remember, December grads, your magic number is 190 credits. You don't have the 190, you do not return to your home high school. Remember, seniors, 190 is the number. For the rest of us, we're looking at 35 days remaining for school before Christmas. Yep, 35 days. That last week is going to be finals. And with that in mind, you're basically down to 30 days. So let's stay focused on what we have to do. It's talking about staying focused. What about your Valverde Knights teams going through the playoffs, winning in an unbelievable fashion as they turn around and knock out Orangewood Dragons by a score of 15 to five. And then that's right, for the first time in a long time, the students come back and put it on the staff. The staff goes down 6-3. That's right, the staff goes down 6-3. We've never seen that. <laughs> Good job there by the students and beating the staff. What's coming also with, with right now is going to be volleyball. We need some boy players coming out. We got seven of you right now. We'll pick up a couple more. Remember, we only need six to play, baby. Only need six to play. The girls team's pretty much moving on. Volleyball season is upon us. Basketball season begins in January. You have your finals coming up in about 30 days. Everybody has to stay focused because Christmas break, that's right, that begins on the 16th of December. Stay focused on your grades, stay, stay attuned to what you have to accomplish, and again, Knights, good luck, man. I'm pulling for you, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, Coach. Now, if you're looking for a job, go check out room number 302 with Mr. Muhammad as he's got a dozen of job opportunities that you can apply for. Now, here's a quick random trivia segment for you. Hey students, I'm Jill. And I'm Savannah. And here is our random trivia crossover. Our first trivia question is, what was the original name of candy corn? Was it chicken feed, corn balls, kernels, or bobs? If you said chicken feed, you're correct. It turns out, back in the olden days of the 1880s, George 
Renninger, the creator, sold a bunch to the Golitz Confectionery Company, and due to corn being used to feed chickens, it was called Chicken Feed. All right, students and staff, our second trivia question is, where did Halloween originate from? Did it originate from a Celtic festival, Aztec ritual, Mayan sacrifices, or urban legends? If you said a Celtic festival, you'd be correct. The Halloween that we have today has its roots in ancient Celtic harvest festivals of Samhain. During this festival, people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off evil spirits. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Gio. And I'm Savannah. Yodels. Thank you, Savannah and me. Attention! There's going to be another blood drive in our school gym on Monday, November 14th. And it'll take place from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Go sign up with Mrs. Sterling in room 303 or with an ASB member. And if the motivation of saving a life wasn't enough for you, there will also be giveaways, as every donor will receive a cool Red Cross t-shirt. Also, they'll be serving PB&J sandwiches for breakfast and pizza for lunch. By the way, every student who donates on the Double Double or the Double Red machine will receive a Double Double from in and out So students and staff, get your blood pumping and sign up today. Now here's Mr. Toth with important information. Hey, good morning Valverde students. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Let's have a couple things. I know we had our uh, assembly last week talking about some of the, the school rules and stuff. Um, and I think uh, I wanted to tell everybody I appreciate that you had, uh, you were attentive at the assembly. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this being a great quarter for everybody. Uh, just a couple of things. One is we had our uh, disaster drill, uh, American Shakeout last week. I appreciate everybody participating, uh, going through in case something were to really happen that we have a better idea on how we would, would uh, behave as a school. So again, I want to thank you for your efforts on the Great American Shakeout last week. Um, I want to mention Saturday school real quick. We do have Saturday school, only one this quarter. It is going to be on December 10th. So please make sure that you are getting your grades up so that you don't get assigned Saturday school, um, but also a chance to make up any of your absences. But December 10th is the day and we will be coming around in the next week or so with forms for you to fill out for invitations and have you turned in so that we can make that happen. Um, and the last thing I just want to talk about real quick is talking about uh, every individual uh, takes time sometimes to figure out what kind of person they want to be. And so that's what we're here at school to kind of help you help yourselves uh, figure out where your talents are, what are some of the things that uh, you're good at, um, identifying where you need to improve. And we all have some weaknesses and challenges and we all have some strengths. And I think a lot of times for high school students, identifying our strengths and being able to give ourselves a hug about it and say, hey, I do a good job with this and see if that can correlate into something that you wanna do in your future. Um, but also identifying some of the challenges where if it's, you know, I get a little short on temper, what are some uh, methods I can do in order to make sure I can calm myself down so I don't get upset and say something that is inappropriate or step over bounds and do something that could get me in trouble. So a couple of things that uh, I have written down that don't require talent, just require good habits. One is being on time. And that's whether it's going out on a date or if you're going to school, going to church, you gotta go to the airport, you gotta go buy a lottery ticket, you gotta be there on time. So get in the habit of being on time. Making an effort. Uh, a lot of you come in class, a lot of the students are go-getters and you automatically go and do the work you need to do. Some of you need to be prodded a little bit and kind of encouraged to do the work, which is okay, that's what we educators do. But make sure you're gonna make an effort. Uh, we wanna make sure that you have high, high energy. The more energy you have, you get in the habit of that, it carries on, makes life a lot better, makes things more interesting. Uh, having a positive attitude, okay? Let's not allow other people to dictate how we feel. If we are comfortable in our own skin and we're making good choices and doing things that are, are positive and hanging out with people that make us feel better about ourselves and do the right thing and have the same value system, uh, you're gonna be better off. Use good body language, okay? Your parents ask you to do something, the roll in the eyes, the shrug in the shoulders, be, be cognizant of that. Positive body language helps carry on and bring on the good vibes. Be prepared. You know what you need to do at school. You know you need a pencil every day or a pen. Uh, you need your Chromebook every day. Just come prepared so that you can best uh, do the best job you can. Uh, we want to have a strong work ethic. We want to make sure that we're willing to go 
work above and beyond what is asked of us. If you're at, jo at a job and you're ever looking for a promotion, are you only doing as much as you think that you're worth or are you trying to go above and beyond and, and hopefully you'll work towards getting that promotion. And then being coachable. Uh, being coachable means that identifying that, okay, I'm not good at everything, sometimes I need to reach out for help. Or sometimes we have an adult on campus or even a, a colleague, a fellow student who is uh, providing some advice. So be polite, be willing to accept that, try it out, see if that works, and then that, that is, is good with uh, relationships as well. Uh, other than that, I just want you guys to have a great, great quarter. I know we're going to have a, a Veterans Day coming up that you guys will have off. You're going to have a whole week off for Thanksgiving and then only a couple weeks after that, then the quarter ends. So please go out and be the best you can, you can be and uh, have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Toast. If you happen to like being outdoors or visiting new places, then we have the perfect club for you. The Road Less Traveled Adventures Club plans local events like hiking, trips on the Metrolink, and even foodie tours for the whole family. If you would like to know more about the RLTA Club, then go talk to Mr. A. Vance in room 204. Now, here's our school principal, Ms. Dido, with some final school news for us. Happy Monday, Knights and Centurions. It's Mrs. Dido, your principal here with a few short announcements for this week. First, I want to recognize our October Superintendent Award winners. These are two students, both from Valverde High School and Valverde Academy, that really exemplify what it means to show your Valverde values by having a vision for your future, a positive attitude, and being focused on learning through a growth mindset. So first off, I wanna recognize Mr. Jose Zavaleta from Valverde High School. He was our October Valverde High School Superintendent Award winner. Great job, Jose. You're doing amazing things and keep it up. Next, I wanna recognize our Valverde Academy October Superintendent Award winner, Ms. Jesenia Garcia. Jesenia is an amazing young lady. I had a wonderful conversation with her. She's doing big things. And I'm just so proud of both of you. You guys are an example for our student body. Just keep it up, do what you, uh, do what you wanna do. I know that the sky's the limit for both of you. Students, all of you are eligible to be recognized as superintendent award winners. Just by coming here and doing what you're supposed to do, your teachers nominate you and we love to recognize good work when we see it. So please just make sure you're coming here making positive decisions for yourself. I will always say it, we are here for one reason and that is to make sure that we're learning, we're earning our credits, and we are on track for high school graduation and having that big moment at the end of the year. I wanna take just another uh, second to again, talk to a few of you about those tardies. It, this conversation's not going away. We are getting just a little bit better. We are creeping up a little bit in terms of students showing up on time, but students, we still have that issue first period with the same group of you coming in late. We really gotta tighten that up. Again, at our uh, rally that we had last week, uh, when we were going over behavior expectations, we talked about the fact that your participation in end of the year senior activities, seniors, okay, please, and juniors, if you wanna go you know, to a prom or to another event and another school, it's gonna be determined on whether or not you have strong attendance. Um, and so please do not set yourself up to not be able to participate in those end of the year activities because you're showing up late every day. And then there's just no reason that you need to be late periods two through five. I mean, we're a small campus. If I can walk across campus in just a few minutes and I'm old, then you can do it. A lot of you have comfortable shoes on, you can make it. So make sure you're getting to class on time. Let's have a great week and I'll see you next week. Well, that's gonna be it for this new show. Make sure you watch it on Val's YouTube channel. Please subscribe at VBUSD Team Vision. Well, I'm Jill. And I'm Jaden. Until next week, nice and sincere, and same night time. And same night channel. Adios. Adios. <laughs>